Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a video about yet another high to god tier unusual that has been unboxed. And this one's actually going to be a bit different to the others, being that the person actually approached me personally uh, in, in help uh, to, to sell this unusual. A lot of the time I go out of my way and find the owner of these new unusuals or some, like one of my friends will link me the profile of one of these unboxers, but this time... I went onto my Discord server, the link to that is always down in the description below, and I saw someone chilling in the voice communications. Um, I had no idea who it was, like literally they were just on their own in the general chat, and just because, you know, like I thought he's on his own, I might as well just pop in and say hello, see how he's doing, I went into the voice communications and we started speaking. It turns out his friend actually told him to join my Discord server as something pretty crazy had happened. Now a few sort of hours prior to this someone told me about a haunted ghost killer exclusive that was unboxed due to the fact the owner actually had 19 hours in team fortress 2 so i kind of like i looked around on backpack.tf couldn't actually find the unboxer so just assumed like you know i'm sure it'll pop up sooner or later and i'll be able to get in contact with them so I went in the, my Discord server back into the voice communications and I was speaking to this guy and it turns out he was the unboxer of his Haunted Ghost Killer exclusive. He had literally only just became a non-free-to-play by actually buying these crates. So I'm, I'm fairly certain the, the only reason he wasn't a free-to-play was because he put the money into the game to buy keys. And currently, I mean, at the time he had 19 hours, he now has 32 and I've got him added and stuff, but I mean, it's pretty crazy. This guy literally, his very first, well I'm assuming his very first purchase on Team Fortress 2 actually led to him getting a Haunted Ghost Killer exclusive. This unusual is currently about 500 or so keys which is uh, around $1000 depending on what you're pricing keys at but nonetheless it's still an absolutely amazing unbox from someone who at the time had little to no experience in the game. I'm just very lucky that the person's friend actually told him to get in contact with me and now I can help him out. Now I don't know about you guys, but I think it's absolutely crazy to see sort of all of these people unboxing these high tier and god tier unusuals with such little hours in the game, and yet people with thousands and thousands of hours, people like CJ for example, open hundreds of hundreds of crates and end up getting nothing and on the odd chance that they do get an unusual, it's most of the time going to be a low tier and all of these low hour accounts end up getting these god tier unusuals. So maybe, you know, there's I'm not suggesting anything, but it seems to me like all of these new accounts seem to be getting these god tiers. I don't remember the last time, apart from sort of Cosmic Afro getting that burning Brotherhood of Arms, I don't remember the last time that anyone with a load of hours unboxed these unusuals. A lot of the time it's these inexperienced players, and I just want to know what you guys make of that. I don't think Valve would implement something into the game where there's a higher chance to unbox an unusual to like if you've got n not a lot of hours but I guess in a way it kind of does make sense because if you just start playing this free to play game and you end up unboxing a hat worth thousands of dollars it may sort of intrigue you to carry on playing maybe that's that's just a complete theory obviously I'm not suggesting it's true but either way guys that is just about it so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy please do remember to leave a like and once again let me know your thoughts on this whole situation down in the comment section below a huge congratulations to the unbox I'm really really happy to be in contact with them from such an early stage and I don't think they're going to trade it um, in a manner that will lead to a scam so thank you guys so much for watching and peace